release wave notes are out for the first release wave of the year of 2023. And everyone who has ever looked into the release wave notes can tell that it takes, it's a nightmare, let's be honest. It is a long text that you have to go through. It's a lot of things that you need to go through. It's the, and then you have to afterwards figure out if you have green marks to make sure that the things have come or are still waiting for the features to come. So recently we have gotten a new superpower. There has come out a new tool called the Power Platform Release Planner, and I am here to tell you all about it today. But just to kick off, I am Vivian Foss. I am here, I'm a solution architect at Avanet in Denmark. Uh, I work as a Dynamics 365 and a Power Platform uh, consultant as the first time, now a solution architect. I'm also a Microsoft Business Applications MVP. And I'm a Dynamics 365 and Power Platform community enthusiast. So you might see me as organizing, as volunteering, as also speaking at different events, trying to push the Dynamics view into different events, but also embracing the Power Platform and everything that goes around with it. In my free time, I love volunteering and I love handicrafts. So whenever I find those five minutes then I, that I don't do, uh, volunteering, Pearl Platform, anything, then I also do handicrafts, mostly crocheting. On this on side of the screen, you can see my social media. Mostly Twitter and LinkedIn are my thing. I blog uh, sometimes, so there are posts, but they might be a bit randomly coming. But to get to the point of today, we have a new Power Platform release panel that has yeah, the uh, different functionality to it. The key features are that you have the possibility of searching. You have the possibility of adding your own release planner. So it is an inter interactive tool that you can, that brings in all the release plans that there are for different release waves. So it's not just based on one, it's actually based on multiple. I will also demo it all to you after we've gone through the key features. And after that, uh, it is the different functionalities that you can try and already try out yourself. We have the possibility of collaboration through notes. So if you wish to, if you see something cool that you want to talk to your team about, you have the possibility of using notes and sharing. So you write your first note and people after that will write the other notes. So you can actually within your team, you have the possibility of creating a thread of notes uh, to look through a certain uh, no a release notes and certain functionality, everything that works. And then you have filtering. You have the possibility of filtering out the different functionality by time, by release wave, by functionality. and in the end, you have also the use of API to retrieve release pens, which I think is one of the coolest options that there is out there right now. And then you have the possibility of sharing the release plans. The problem with looking at the different release wave uh, plans within uh, Microsoft uh, documentation is the fact that it's not that easy to share uh, online. So Within the release planner, you have the possibility and actually very visual way of, uh, of re uh, sharing the different functionality, the different tooling. So you have the possibility of making it work for you. But enough with the presentation. Let me show you what the fun is about. So this is the release planner from this link that you also have in the slide deck. Uh, I think hopefully someone can also paste in the chat. Uh, this is available for everyone. Just open. It is a it is a web tool that you can all use and share. One thing that I have figured out with it is the fact that in order to use the my release plans part here, you have to be logged on. If you don't log on, then uh, you can still use or you can still go to the my release plans part, but it will give you an an error basically. It will tell you to log on and then you can start using the my release plans. So. Just one side note before you start working with it. Other than that, uh, everything has been very intuitive in my opinion. As also mentioned, the release waves come, uh, release wave notes come out for the Dynamics 365 and Power Platform. 
And those you can also see on the left side of the screen in sitemap for the different products that you can see uh, the release notes for. You have the Power Platform in the bottom here, and then you have Dynamics on the top. For each and every product, you can see what is planned, what is coming soon, and what you can already try now. I love the Try Now feature, <laughs> honestly. Well, I love the whole tool. Uh, I've also been using it for a while now, but uh, I, I love the fact that you can go to the Try Now part and see what it is that already has come without having to figure out and find the things working. So once you find a feature, you click on it, you can see whether or not it has been updated. You can see when the public preview is, and here you have the pretty share button. Click on it and it copies the link to your, it copies the link and you can paste it uh, afterwards wherever you want to share it for. Within the feature, you have quick text. You have a picture if there is one. You get to know when the early access, public preview and G8 date is. And you can see in which release wave it was included in. Also, you have the possibility of getting directly to the functionality of the release wave notes uh, directly from here without uh, having to search for it in, uh, anywhere else. The same with the Learn more, more button, it will take you to documentation. In order to create your own release plan, all you have to do is click on the plus to my plan, and then it automatically adds it to your plan list. As simple as that. So when you've added that, you can see that now I have gotten two, the one that we added now last, or just added, that has also been added to the list here. Within my release plans, you also have something like a plus, and this is for the notes. So as you remember, I told you that you can collaborate through notes. You have the possibility of adding notes. Add, it saves, it shows who you uh, that who has created it and when. You close it. And the way you can share with your colleagues or friends is that you click on this little icon here. And within those little icon, you can either share a link or you can manage it. The manage will remove access from the people you have shared it with. Uh, from yeah, And the share link will uh, make it possible for people to get access to your release plans that you have uh, shared with them. So this is a really cool way of collaborating on the things and uh, making sure that everything, that you can actually work with it as a team. I also mentioned the filtering option. It is here uh, within the filtering icon. You can see that the, you can filter by status, enable for availability, so on and so forth. Choose the things that make sense to you. Choose out the things that doesn't, and it will filter nicely. You have also the timeline option. So when you toggle it, it will either uh, filter by scope or functionality, or it will filter by time. So you have right now, I clicked on it. It filters by date. You can see February, January, December. Click on it again, and it, fun it filters by functionality. Top here, search functionality. Search as you, as you will. It will give uh, the options back to you. What's new? feedback, and in the end here are all links to Microsoft Docs uh, functionality uh, and uh, documentation that you can read more about. So a really quick overview of uh, how things are working and how things work here. You also have a video here to watch the highlights, but I recommend absolutely everyone to go through it. It is out of preview now. It is in general availability and a tool for everyone that works with release notes, totally something I cannot live without anymore. So thank you very much. That was a quick overview from me and giving it on to the next presentation. Awesome, Vivian. Thank you. So everybody, why is this valuable and important? Because we all struggle to keep up with technology, right? There is so much. It's moving so fast. Uh, it's like uh, Ferris Bueller, right? If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you might miss it. This helps us stop and look around. It also is a perfect 
opportunity for you to work with customers to plan around the releases as they're coming mm -hmm. out. So it's like a crystal ball. So use it to keep up, use it to plan, use it to work with your clients and customers. It's absolutely powerful. Thank you, Vivian, that rocks. By the way, I have three older sisters and no brothers. I too crochet. So we'll have to compare some notes <laughs> sometime. Absolutely. Awesome. 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 Awesome.